as, as all of you well know, this is a situation that's very tense, very volatile. There's some people that have uh, been standing out there for days, so today is a chance to talk and have uh, a real discussion. We're, uh, we're a nation of people that have stopped talking to each other. Uh, we tweet, we make statements on Facebook, uh, we go around uh, asking, condemning, but we're not talking. And today um, is a very, very difficult situation for all Canadians, whether you're Indigenous or non-Indigenous. And um, we need to start talking, and this is a beginning. Um, I can't guarantee what the outcome will be. Um, it isn't mine to judge, and so I'm here to discuss in peace and friendship um, with a bunch of people that haven't felt part of this um, part of this country. Um, they felt like allies at times, and they've been betrayed. So um, all of Canada is hurting. The economy is uh, slowing down. Everyone knows the reports about supply shortages. Um, but we can't move forward without dialogue, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, Minister, what we'll happens if the they outcome. don't take the blockade down after the meeting? Um, I don't deal in, in what ifs. I, I deal in what about now, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk. We're going to have some frank discussions. Uh, yesterday was a community meeting to sort out a number of, of details and protocols over something that hasn't happened in a long time. And um, you know, Canadians are divided uh, on this. Uh, indigenous communities are divided on this. We can't use that against each other. We need to stand here and talk to each other and have some frank conversations. And they want proper respect. Um, they want proper protocols followed, and I'm willing to do that and talk. And so um, thank you for being respectful about this. Um, we'll have to see you at, at the end of the day. Um, this, is, uh, this is a dialogue. You guys. You face some criticism for how long it's taking you to come here. Why has it taken so long? Last question. Oops. Well, I had to be invited, um, and it had to be done in the proper way. Um, again, people can make public declarations, uh, but the important thing is, is to be able to enter into dialogue. Uh, this conversation was facilitated um, by some amazingly strong people in the community, women, uh, very strong leadership um, that, that have pushed um, both sides to reach out. And that's the untold story that should be told today, is that there's some very powerful people in the community that want to see an end to this, they want to see peace, uh, they want to see our, our relationship renewed um, and in the right way. So I guess this is a beginning, um, but you know, in order to have a meeting face to face, you have to be welcome. And yesterday, uh, the community is builds on consensus, and whether they're divided internally is not mine to judge. Uh, they build on consensus, so they spent a long day yesterday deciding how this day would go, um, and now I'm invited to come in. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you.